Today I'm going to show you how to make a create app that talks to Zapier. The benefit of talking to Zapier is that Zapier already has integrations with thousands of applications. It also has support for apps whose APIs need OAuth to authenticate, which means you can use the ability to talk to Zapier to connect to Google Sheets, Google Drive, Gmail, Slack, Notion, and more. You talk to Zapier with functions in Create. Today I'm going to make an app that uses Zapier to send an email from my personal email to my inbox. Start by making a new Zap in your Zapier account. For the trigger, choose Webhooks by Zapier. Next, for the event, choose Catch Hook. And in the Test tab, you'll go ahead and see a Webhook URL that you can copy to your clipboard. Now in Create, choose to make a new function. Go over to the Secrets tab of your function and add a new secret. Name it Zapier Webhook URL. Now that we've saved the webhook URL, we're ready to write the prompt. In this example, we're going to take in an email address and an alert message, and then send that message to that email address using Zapier's connection to Gmail. So let me go ahead and write the prompt for that. Email address and a alert message. Send it to the Zapier webhook. You can inspect the generated function diagram to make sure it looks right, or you can look at the code. Make sure you see that this process.env um, is set to whatever you named your Zapier webhook URL. Now we'll go ahead and test our function. I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in, prove at create.xyz, and an alert message. Someone just signed up. And I'm going to go ahead and run the function in the test tab. I'll see that this run just appeared, and it's pending, and then is completed. Now, when I look inside the test tab, I see that the input says uh, was sent with my arguments, and the output says success true. Switching over to Zapier, if I look at the test tab, I can go ahead and click test trigger. And I'll see that my request actually made it over to Zapier. Now I can do anything I want with this data. As mentioned before, in this app, I'm going to use this data to actually send an email using my Gmail account. So for the action, I'm going to choose Gmail, and I'm going to go ahead and pick send email. I've already set up my Gmail account, um, so now I can go ahead and fill the rest of the fields with the test data. So the to field is going to be the email that I actually sent in. The subject is going to be the alert message, and the body is also going to be the alert message. What you'll notice here is that I could actually make my create function send any data to Zapier. I just need to describe what I want to send to Zapier. So if I wanted, I could go ahead and send other information that I want to include in other zaps. And once it actually hits the catch webhook, then I can use that anywhere else in any of my downstream zaps. It's really, really flexible. Now I'm going to go ahead and test this zap with the data that came over from Create. If everything went according to plan, I should go ahead and see an email sent to my inbox. Sure enough, there's the email with exactly the data that I had sent over from Create. So now I know the zap works. I could go ahead and add other zaps to my zap, like sending a message in Slack, or adding this user sign up in some other database, or connecting to any other app that I could think of. But for now, since I know it works, I'm going to go ahead and publish. Now that it's live, I can use this function in my Create app. Here's a modern wait list I was working on. I'll hook this up to my function that goes ahead and sends an email at Zapier, just by referencing it in the spec. Here, I went ahead and said to send an email with the Zapier email alert function when someone signs up in the UI. I told it to send the email to me, and in the email body, have the user's email and name. That way I can take a look to see who's signing up for my design system. I can go ahead and test this in demo mode. So let's sign up with the username Sally and an email called Sally at Gmail. Now when I check my email, I see that I got an alert message, and the alert was new sign up from Sally with email sally at gmail. 
If I wanted to change this message, all I have to do is update the spec in my prompt um, to be more specific about what the message should be. And that's it. Now you know how to use functions to call out to Zapier. From Zapier, you can then connect to any other service. And you can then connect your function to anything else you want to build and create. That means it's possible to build sites, apps, and tools that talk to thousands of other sites, apps, and tools through Zapier integrations. Let us know if you need any help.